keeping up with our motto let learning be a joy and teaching be a pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning day dear students i am mrs sonal shah doshi from thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college teaching you geography today for grade 6 chapter 2 let us use the gratitude let us revise what we have done in chapter number 1 the earth and the gratitude we have done that globe as imaginary horizontal and vertical lines on it imaginary horizontal lines are called latitudes imaginary vertical lines are called longitudes and together they form grid called parallels and meridians called gratitude they help us in determining accurate location of a particular place on the globe and their climatic conditions and time zones look at the image and find out answers of the following questions question number 1 list the continents and oceans through which the equator passes answer will be south america and africa are the continents through which the equator passes and atlantic ocean pacific ocean and indian ocean are the oceans through which the equator passes question number 2 which two oceans are spread in all the four hemispheres answer will be pacific ocean and atlantic ocean are the oceans which are spread in all the four hemispheres let's begin with chapter number 2 let us use the gratitude can you locate the following places accurately on the globe statue of unity sanjay gandhi national park taj mahal mumbai river ganga it's very difficult to find or say or mark right let's make it easier and simple by using gratitude suppose i am showing you a paper having point a plotted on it and ask you where is point a it will be difficult for you to answer what is the second image yes it is a graph paper now if i plot point a on the graph paper and ask you where is point a will you be able to answer yes it is a 5 units on x axis and 4 units on y axis the way we used x axis and y axis to describe the particular point on the graph paper the same way we use latitudes and longitudes to locate a particular place on the globe look at this image where is point b it is at 38 degree 53 minutes north latitude and 77 degree west longitude so here back to our original questions where is statue of unity on the globe the same way you have to locate sanjay gandhi national park taj mahal mumbai and river ganga on the globe now it's easier for you let's see what are latitudes and longitudes of the following places to find out the answer you have to take out the physical map of india which you have to keep in front of your eyes now find out where is statue of unity it is at 21 degree 50 minutes 70 seconds north latitude and 73 degree 43 minutes and 8 seconds east longitude answer to question number 2 where is sanjay gandhi national park it is at 19 degree 12 minutes and 34 seconds north latitude and 72 degree 54 minutes 59 seconds east longitude the same way where is taj mahal it is at 27 degree 10 minutes and 30 seconds north latitude and 78 degree 2 minutes and 32 seconds east longitude all these three places require one latitude and one longitude to locate accurately so in short any place is requiring one latitude and at least one longitude to locate it 
accurately on the globe where is mumbai let us see where is mumbai on the globe it coordinates at the point 18 degree 58 minutes 30 seconds north latitude and 72 degree 49 minutes 33 seconds east longitude going little ahead if you want to find out extent of any road river or region you require at least two latitudes and two longitudes for example to find out the extent of river ganga we require to find out its origin point gangotri glaciers coordinates and its ending point bay of bengal's coordinates so coordinates of gangotri glacier is 30 degree 59 minute north and 78 degree 55 minutes east while coordinates of bay of bengal is 15 degree north 88 degree east so the total length of river ganga is 2525 km while the navigable length is 631 km similarly we can find out extent of our country that is extent of india by using two latitudes and two longitudes so india lies on the indian plate the northern part of the indo australian plate whose extent is 8 degree 4 minutes north to 37 degree 6 minute north latitude and 68 degree 7 minute to 97 degree 25 minute east longitude here are some facts regarding india and its coordinates the number of latitude that cross this definition of india are 27 for the entire country or 25 for the mainland while number of longitudes are 30 that cross the india india is divided by tropic of cancer 23 degree 30 de- minutes north in almost two equal parts the upper half has a temperate cooler climate and the lower half has a tropical climate the 82.50 east longitude is less than 1 km from the famous vindhya vashini temple gamapur is now india's green ridge the difference of time between gujarat and arunachal pradesh is 2 hours but both their clock shows same time because india follows a standard time indian standard time is along longitude 82.30 degree east it passes through the city of mirzapur in uttar pradesh the difference between the length of a day and night in southern most part of india is much less only about 45 minutes as they are situated near the equator this difference between day and night in the northern parts of india steadily goes on increasing till it becomes as much as 5 hours the tropic of cancer passes almost halfway through the country thus half of the country to the south of the tropic of cancer is situated in the tropical or torrid zone and the other half lying north of the tropic of cancer falls in sub tropical zone this location is responsible for large variations in land forms climate soil types and natural vegetation in the country Here we are completing chapter number two. Let us use the gratitude. Hope you understand it and enjoyed it. Thank you.